Hi families, I'm Leslie. Hi, I'm Kelly. And today we're here to share with you a really simple maths experience with young children. Many families think that young children need to do things like workbooks and homework sheets to understand numeracy and math. And we're here to debunk that myth because Hi. young children learn best with hands-on experiences. So this is a really simple maths experience that shows children some really important fundamental key concepts around classifying and counting in a fun way that's authentic to the way that young children learn. So Kelly, you want to tell us what you've done and step us through. So what we did here is we went on a bit of a walk down to the park, down by the beach. We found this collection of items. So what we do now is we take it home and have our children help us sort it out into the different classifications. So when we look through here, it looks a bit messy to get started, but here's where we'll start sorting it out. We've got some bark, so we can pop that over here. We found a collection of shells. We also found some beautiful leaves that are all different colours. Finally, we found some different shaped rocks while we were out walking. So next what we do is we would encourage the children to start counting out how many of each different item we found. So for me we would say over here we've got one, two, three pieces of bark. We have one, two, three, four different shells and one, two, three, four, five rocks. We can choose to keep the leaves all together or we can pick them off the stems as well. So these sorts of early mathematics concepts are really important for children. So sorting might not seem such a big thing to do for children. However, sorting helps children understand same and different, which is really quite a necessary understanding that they have to have in order right. to understand math. And of course counting. And I did notice that you um, counted in a very specific way like for these correspondence going right. across. So when uh, teachers um, count using their finger and they go one, two, three, that's what we call one-to-one -one correspondence. And it's something that children have to learn. Children learn numbers first by rote, where they um, just sing it like a song. And then when they start to actually be able to match the numeral and number to an item, we know that their math skills are actually progressing. That's it, and they're developing that hand-eye coordination and fine motor skills as they reach over and touch each different object as well. Awesome, so what do you do next? Well, that would be up to the children. What I could suggest to them would be, what patterns could we make here? So you could start off with something as simple as an ABAB pattern. So A, be a piece of bark. B, with our shell. A, and then I could say, what might come next? Giving them that prompt to engage with it themselves. The patterning exercise is a really important early mathematical skill that lots of teachers use with young children. Patterning in this way helps children to understand the rhythm of math. This is the precursor to what they will do later in school where they may group things together. And grouping is the precursor to multiplication. So really important foundational skills that are done in authentic play ways with children. There's lots of math in an experience like this. So what's something else that you do with the children with something as simple as this? So another thing we could do is we could explore sequencing with the children. So the concept of this rock is the largest rock and this one is the smallest. And then trying to encourage the children to figure out what order the rest of the rocks might go in. And of course, knowing small and big, tall and short are also all really foundational concepts that children have to understand. That's right. And finally, I know that there's work that you do with this sort of um, experience with children around attributes. So would you like to share what that's about? That's right. So once again, we're really using our questions and our descriptive language to promote a deeper understanding with the children. So we could encourage them to consider the differences within the same classification. So here we've got our grouping of shells, but within these shells, there are differences we want them to explore. We've got a short rounder shell, and we've got this long pointy shell. Over with our rocks, we've got a flat white rock, a tall black rock, and a long gray rock. 
So when we use that really full descriptive language, we're promoting the children's understanding. So in one simple little scavenger hunt, we've helped children to count, to sequence and to classify all in a really fun, engaging, authentic, hands-on learning. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Kelly. That was wonderful. Thank you for having me.